Meanwhile, tourism stakeholders in Negril are hoping that their plea to save the coral reefs in the area will lead to some change. They're calling on locals, the private sector and public sector for help as the reefs are seemingly deteriorating at an alarming rate. We have the details from Jamela Maitland. From the skies of the Seven Mile Beach in Negril, Westmoreland, Jamaica appears to have no problems. However, below the pristine waters, the coral reefs are under serious threat due to climate change. But according to stakeholders in Negril, it's being made worse by humans. Trevor Forbes has been in the parasailing business for almost 30 years. He also brings tourists to dive as well. He explains that even his customers say something is seriously awry with Jamaica's reefs. It kind of hurt to feel that, see that the reef is deteriorating right now. And, um, um, Nipah, if you get on top of this thing and try to get it before it go further. You understand? The coral reefs are a major part of Jamaica's ecosystem. They provide food, medicine, and act as a barrier protecting the coastline from huge waves. But professional diver Dana Heavens says the local community needs to play a greater role in protecting the reefs. To see how other places treat their reef and look out for the, the, the marine environment and to see my home, you know, the, the simple steps that we need to take to make the reef better. We, 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 it's like we turn a blind eye to it because everyone just see, yes, tourism, tourists come on the reef, but the impact of what's leaving on the reef is not being good for the reef itself. So we know as stakeholders have to start uh, you know, put more interest, and as local fishermen in the fishing community, have to start put more interest into taking care of the reef. Fisher folk have also complained about smaller catch, hoteliers, the shrinking of the beach, and residents, sometimes an unusual smell. Hotelier and president of the Negril Chamber of Commerce, Richard Wallace, says there is also another concern. Waste water that is being diverted through the Negril River and into the sea is the decades-old system that is still being used by properties along the Norman Malley Boulevard. He says a project is currently underway to address this. Stakeholders argue that the coral reefs are being destroyed at a faster rate. We need to see action. We need to see some action now. We need to, to physically get in there and, and do what needs to be done to stop the, the flow of untreated or, or unfiltered water into the bay. That will create some immediate um, relief for the reef. But could the $1 billion breakwater project terminated in 2016 address this? It would have been a disaster. It would have made the water more calm. There would have been no... It, it would have destroyed Negril. I really do think so. We have not lost any beach since the whole breakwater fiasco took place. And we're very thankful for that. We don't know what the future holds, but I don't think, um, I, I think we made the right decision. Sophie Grizzle Rommel is director at the Charlotte Inn Hotel. She says there's a need for proper sewage for the tourist hub. Acknowledging that that will take some time, the hotelier says boys can be placed out at sea in the meantime. Increasing the parrotfish population in Negro would help a lot so that's why we need a, a fish sanctuary. It's simple things like putting out the mooring boys by the beak, by the, the reefs so that you know the, 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 the snorkeling and the scuba diving teams can use them to moor their, their boats and not throw their anchor on a reef that's already distressed. But as the stakeholders fish for their next move, the coral reefs may not have a choice. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.